Welcome to Iverse Plus. Here we like to talk about comics, games, movies, and other elements of the geek culture. I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. Let's, Let's start, start the, the show. show. for all the props in the Captain America movie. And wow, some of the things were pretty pricey. Like uh, the prop guns went for $800 and concept art went for $6,000. My favorite item was the trash can lid that he used to defend himself from the bully. That sold for $2,600. Ah, uh, yes, but the big money went for Cap's costume. It sold for a whopping $233,700. Yep, the one costume went for almost 235k. So, what would 235,000 dollars buy, like in the real world? Um, how about a house and 40 acres in Colorado? That'd be nice. How about a Bentley Continental GT? Well, if we're talking cars, how about seven Honda Accords and 25,000 dollars? You know, for maintenance. All right. So here's a question: What would you guys buy? Why don't you let us know in a comment below? And we're not talking about just like regular stuff. We want to know just insanely awesome things that you would buy for yourself. We want to know. Go big. Yes. Yes, it finally happened. One of the most monumental events in history. Shia LaBeouf wrote and illustrated his own comic book. No, no, no. no. Three comic books. We'll say it again. Shia, Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf wrote and, and illustrated his, his own comic books. Recently, Shia was at C2E2. That's the... Chicago Comics Entertainment Expo, and he was signing copies of his comic books. We haven't had a chance to read them, but some people have, and here are some of those quotes. Matt D. Wilson of Comics Alliance has this to say. If I didn't know any better, I might say that these are secret messages from space robots to warn us of impending Armageddon. Or maybe they're just some freshman English level poetry thrown into a couple of picture books. Probably the latter. The books are further summarized as being akin to a children's picture book. It has a couple of lines of text on one side and very simple drawings on the other. The Chicago Tribune described it as thoughts that read a lot like tweets with crude, childlike drawings to accompany them. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, these books are self-published, and so they are not available on the Comics Plus app. Sorry. But maybe, just maybe, we did you a favor. Crucial Comics! The new Avengers takes place after the series called End of Avengers ends. Scarlet Witch has lost her mind and, spoiler alert, did everyone leave? Make sure everybody left. Okay. Her discharge of powers kills several Avengers. As a direct result of this, the, dis the Avengers decide to take a break and maybe, you know, see other people. However, a prison break of supervillains finds Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, Captain America, Cage, and Iron Man suddenly working as a team to respond to the situation. Cap and Tony Stark decide to reform the team as the New Avengers. The New Avengers is written by Brian Michael Bendis, who has written a number of other books, including Ultimate Spider-Man and Daredevil. The artist on the book is David Finch. He worked on Ultimate X-Men with Brian Michael Bendis, as well as the Avengers. Anyhow, the art in these books is pretty straightforward and highly detailed, so go ahead and pick one up. Avengers vs. X-Men. It's the matchup of the century when these two teams collide. The Phoenix Force is approaching, a celestial being composed of life and passion that can be absolutely deadly wherever it goes. Now the Phoenix is back and it's attracted to Hope Summers. Captain America wants to arrange to protect her with S.H.I.E.L.D. assets, but Cyclops wants her to stay with the X-Men so they can watch over her. Now the battle begins. This is going to be a 12-issue miniseries that will tell of the return of the Phoenix. These books are the creative collaboration of a number of different writers, including Brian Michael Bendis, Matt Fraction, Jason Aaron, Ed Brubaker, 
Jonathan Hickman, with artists John Romita Jr., Oliver Copel, and Adam Kubert. Thanks for hanging with us here at Iverse Plus. We'll see you later. Where should I go? My own house and pay it off completely. And then yes, I, I would pay off my travel. student loans. Oh my god, that's it. <laughs> and I would travel. I'd off. go to Ireland. I'd go to Europe. Oh. I'd go to Australia. I would travel too. That's good. God, you have like all the. <laughs> I've been thinking about this. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have. <laughs>